Good evening, everyone. Um, I just did my meditation, and uh, I feel called to do this video. I don't know how long I'm gonna take, uh, but I will try to go fast. So tonight, I feel called to make a video about grief, uh, grieving people. You know, your loved one passed away, right? Grieve with some important person in your life that's they're not here anymore, and it's perfect for we have Halloween, right? And so many other uh, similar um, holidays involved around this, uh, you know, death and grief. I made a video about, talk about death. So actually that I think that video could be a video that you could watch to help you to have, uh, maybe I have a different perspective uh, about death. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about grief. And uh, grief is the word itself. When you talk about, I I I felt it just like chest is kind of heavy. I could not could not really breathe like deep deep breathing. I try to deep breathe, but it just somehow it's so dense there, and the energy we're holding we're holding there. So what do I want to talk about talk about grief. Now when we lose lost something right uh, doesn't matter um it's a physical thing if we have we have, we have attachment the physical thing and the non-physical they are actually they are same everything's energy and it, why why we feel we lost something when you think it's loss it's actually we have attachment but when we talk about the, the physical thing the material thing versus um, the actual physical body, you might think it's different. And um, and in this video, I want to treat it different for right now because I don't want to challenge you too deep. Uh, just to make my point clear, let's just treat material thing as versus physical is something different, okay? So let's say we lost someone. And for a certain amount of time, we are in grief stage because it's emotion. You know, we got to process, um, and I also get used to when this physical person is not in your presence, right? Because we are still three D person. I mean, in this three D world, in our we in physical body, that physical experience like you're seeing, you know, you're smelling, you're hearing somebody talking, you can touch this person and hug this person is very real to us. So when somebody um, pass away, um, our physical reality need a little take a little bit of time to get used to. But more than this 3D realm of you want to hear this person's voice, you, you know, you want to touch this person, uh, you want to speak to this person, you want to hear this person, you want to see this person, okay? I'm talking about deeper than this. So when we take long, long time to grieve, I'm talking about those grief was like longer than three years, five years, even more than that. And then that's not just missing this person, not just you adjusting yourself. It is, but I want to point to something behind that. Now, anybody here still angry with the somebody passed away okay uh is anybody here still feels this resentment for the people already not here anymore uh like is anyone still have this uh, unresolved business with the one or with the person already pass away or is there anyone uh still hold this grudge towards somebody or you actually feeling that why you leave me so early why you leave me alone here now right and uh, all those emotions we call grief simply just say grief however there are so many different uh, layers of emotions or the stories behind this thing so-called grief and uh if we're not clear of what we actually still holding on 
towards this person's energy, then you will feel find yourself actually could not not move out of this energy. Doesn't matter if this person passed away two months, two years, or even ten years. Somehow, you will still when you bring this person name up, your heart gonna be tight instead of. You know, when you think about somebody, you know, they say some of your grandparents, right? Like my grandpa or my ex grandpa, he passed away when he's ninety seven years old, and、uh, even though that moment for a certain period of time, you miss this person, you know, and uh, and uh, I'm talking in in for this video for sake of uh, uh, explaining. Yes, of course I will. I miss him. Of course I want to see him. Of course I feel like I, it would be great that he is in the presence of my life or family、uh, members' life. But however, now when you bring this person up after a period of time, you your heart will not get tight. You actually your、uh, heart is opening because you feel the love from him, right? Because there's nothing you holding on towards this person. So.、Um, And that time, you know that your your heart is totally at peace with this person, right? But if you brought somebody up, and your heart is tight in a this spectrum or that spectrum. Now, I mentioned the feeling of you know you might still angry at somebody, you might still have uh, uh, somebody reject you, make you angry. Um, you have unresolved the. Relationship situation with this person, and before things resolve, this this person is gone. Now on other spectrum is this person. This person see you, and this person's only this person. You feel like only in this person's presence you been seen and heard, and you being loved. You feel appreciated. You feel important. You feel whatever, you know, on the other spectrum. So now when this person is gone, you actually feel like there's nobody could see you in the way. Of this this person gonna see you,、um, and you 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 actually holding on. You wish this person still in your life, that energy still in your life to see you, to feel you, to 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 hear you,、uh, is because of the other spectrum. So either way, either this way or that way, when you bring this person up, your heart gonna kind of have this 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 contraction. You feel tight. You feel heavy in your chest. So when we talk about grief, behind the grief, there are so many things that we. Could look into it if you aware of what is it, then you can look into go backtrack. You know,、uh, people heard me talking about my belief work all the time, but seriously, that's that's certain beliefs you're holding on. Doesn't matter this person is is see you, so you believe this person only this person can see you in this way. You know, value you this way, cherish you this way, or on the other end is the belief that、uh, you know, ah,、uh, in your in your in your belief system that actually this person played a very important role, ah,、uh, in certain period of your time. That if you not peace with this energy with this person carried when he's alive or even he's gone, you just feel like you won't move forward. Okay, so everything back to is the、uh, we actually not. The energy, even though people is passed away, but their energy is still there. You still connect, can connect with this person. If they are just in unseen realm, and also that is also a mirror back to the energy that inside us that we're not in peace of. Okay, so again, this video gonna be ninety minutes, but <laughs> hope it helps. And I love you guys.